Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be looking at the Scout Trooper with uh, Speeder Bike uh, from the Star Wars Black Series. Uh, this is the first Star Wars 6 inch figure that I've ever bought, and I think that I started off with probably one of the coolest ones they've released so far. So uh, before we, we take a closer look at this guy, let's go ahead and take a look at his packaging. Here it is. As you can see here, it's fairly plain. Uh, the only real detail that is up here shows a picture of a Biker Scout. On the back, there's a picture of the Biker Scout again. And up here in the corner, if I can zoom in on it here, there's a description. If you'd like to read that, you can just pause the video. Uh, but uh, anyway, let's get back to the figure, which is the important part. We'll start out with just the figure here. He is really sweet. He stands, let's see here, about, let's get him standing straight up, about six inches tall. So he's right in line with the other figures. He comes with one accessory, and that is this little tiny gun. Uh, this is really the only problem I have with this figure. If you'd see here, the gun is very small. So, I wish they had made it just a little bit bigger, made it fit in his hands just a little bit nicer. I mean, it's not like you can't get it to fit, but it just looks kind of strange, so that's kind of disappointing. So, if you're going to pose him with the gun, I would just leave it here in his uh, boot there. Uh, but he does have really amazing articulation. He's got a ball joint on top of a hinge, so he can look way up or way up and way down, and then he can lean his head side to side just a little bit. You can get a lot of posing out of the head, really anything you'd want. He's got ball hinge shoulders that are a little bit limited because of the uh, shoulder pad, and they do swivel uh, you know, 100 or 360 degrees. He's got a bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, the really great range of motion, at his chest, he's got, feels like a ball peg. It's not the most useful. It just kind of lets him move just a little bit. So that's kind of disappointing. He's got, I believe they're called Y-jointed hips. They come forward, and then back, and then out. He does have a uh, upper leg swivel. Double-jointed knee, with a really great range of motion. A boot swivel here ball jointed uh, ankle with an ankle rocker really nice one so he's pretty much got every piece of articulation you could need so in that sense they did a really good job uh, but onto the bike here this thing is where this pack really it kind of shines not that the figure isn't great but this is just amazing it is about 11 inches almost exactly so that's really cool. It's got a lot of size, and I mean, just the detail on this is amazing. It's got a lot of airbrushing, a lot of dry brushing, so that's really nice. And it does actually have some articulation. Right there, it's got a swivel gun. And here on the back, it's got these two flaps that you can open and close. And for the base, it is articulated. It's just got a little ball peg. So you can pose that, and if you want to, you can pop it out. There we go. And use any of these sides, so if you want it to sit lower to the ground, you can pop this side in, and now it's like that. So that's kind of nice, and you can do that for any of the three sides that have the ball on them. It's just You just pop it out, pop it back in. Um, Let's see what else to talk about on the bike. Oh, it's got two pegs here, and then on the bottom of the figure, there's four peg holes. So these two here are for the bike, and then these two are for like a figure stand. And uh, if you're kind of worried about the figure being able to sit down on the bike, it's not a problem at all. I mean, 
He looks great. I know I don't have him on there right now, but just trust me. If you play with him enough, you can get him on there. Uh, so, I mean, I would just say, if you find this in stores, definitely buy it if you've got the money. It's definitely worth it. And if you hesitate and try and buy it later on a secondary market like Amazon or eBay, it will cost you probably three or four times uh, what this costs. So, I would say if you if you want this figure, pick it up now while it's in stores. Uh, but anyways, tell me what you think about this figure in the comment section below, and I'll see you later.